Hello and welcome to Paranormal Caught on Camera, episode number 7. We're going to start things off with number 5, Polaroid Ghost Writer. In 1985, Mr. John Mikowski moved into his Los Angeles home and he began taking photographs with his new Polaroid camera. He then noticed that there were particularly anomalies on the photographs themselves. Sometimes there were orbs, sometimes there were streaks, and sometimes there were actually words and sentences. So this next clip that you're about to see, there are two reporters in his house and they are about to provide him with a, fre a fresh cartridge of Polaroid film. Now, I originally saw this story on the show Sightings from the 1990s and I was immediately drawn to it and the particulars of these photographs. Now, what you're about to see is the actual video clip from that show and then we're gonna investigate and take a look at some of those photographs. It's out of film. You open it up, pull this one out. Here's the package you guys got brought with you. We open this up, we tear it open, and we pull out a brand new, fresh thing of film. We load it in, we close it up. Okay, um, okay, oh, what do you guys want to ask, uh, write a question? What kind of um, things would you like? Uh, got it. Well, I want to know several things, like when he died and, you know, if he lived in this house and if he, uh, um, you know, how long ago he, I don't know, what do what you think? What do you think, Scott? I'll just ask uh, when, uh, did he die in this house? Yeah. Did he die? Yeah. Okay, um. So, uh, let me stand back some. There'll be a flash. Okay, uh, right? Did you die in this house? And here's the photograph. It just came out of the camera. And let's see what happens. It is 3.43 on a Tuesday afternoon. And we'll see what happens. We'll, uh, the last two times this didn't work. Maybe it, it will this time. Right? Did you die in this house? Now, is this on automatic focus? Yeah. Cause Why? It's, it's not focusing? Fuzzy too. Can you hold it like right in front of your chest? Yeah. Oh, that's a good idea, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Got it. Is something coming out? Ha! Huh. It looks like we're getting something. Is there, is there I something? should have posed, huh? huh. <laughs> Forgot you're taking a picture toward us. Yeah, something's coming up. So a very strange happening and you see that every time they ask questions it appears that the ghost or the entity is writing them on the pictures themselves. How is this possible? Have you ever seen anything like this and how can it be trickery and how can it be done if it's not real? Um, as far as they have investigated, even Polaroid company uh, took the photographs in and they themselves said that they were never tampered with. So what are your thoughts on this? Is this a paranormal happening? And if it's not, how would you go about creating the same effect? Uh, but these photographs are certainly strange and I would love to hear your commentary on this. Number four. Meet YouTube channel The Matrix Pipe. Now, in this next clip, you're going to see this man resting, and what you're about to witness is a bunch of orbs, all shapes and sizes, coming from all directions. Now, as you look here, you're going to see that he's just at rest, and as you watch, you notice that you notice all these strange lights surrounding him as he tries to go to sleep.
Now he has caught many more orbs in separate videos. So why don't you go to his channel and check it out for yourself and have a look. I think it's a very strange. Do you think this is dust? Do you think this might be insects? Is this a paranormal happening? We'd love to hear your commentary. The Matrix Pipe, thanks for uploading and sharing your strange phenomena with us all. Number three, Sussex Paranormal Research Group. This next clip is from 2005 and it's taken by the Paranormal Research Group from the UK at the Old Inn. Look at this one here. Oh my good God. Oh man, look at that one. Jeez. Now what you're gonna see is the cameraman pans around in the dark with the night vision and as he pans around there's a researcher sitting next to the window, but as he comes to the opposite side, you're going to see this strange anomaly appear on the camera. Now, as you're watching, it comes closer and closer to the camera. I have slowed down the footage and I have enhanced it slightly. Take a look. What do you think? And particularly, it's not your regular orb or streak of light. It's something else and I am unsure as to what to make of it. Could it be a trick? Could it be a string? What do you guys think? Have you guys ever seen anything like this before? It looks like a little wisp of light that just appears out of nowhere and just comes closer to the camera. I really wish there was more information regarding this clip and it just ends abruptly so I'm unsure as to exactly what we're looking at. Do you have any ideas? Have you seen anything like this before? Is the group still around creating content? because I haven't been able to find any more information. I would sure love your thoughts on this. Number two, introducing YouTube channel, Louis Tosh. This footage comes from 2013 and his channel's not very active anymore. This is called War Party from Mexico. Now, interesting and curious clip here. What you're gonna see is a room and the window is covered up and you're gonna see a wide variety of orbs. Now, if you've been following the video long, uh, I will ask you once again, what do you guys think this is? Is this dust? Are these insects? How is this being captured and what makes them round and fly about in different directions. I made my best attempts to brine up the footage a little bit. I haven't done anything else and then slowed it down quite a bit so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Now the interesting part is that you get these really big orbs that seem to fly at the camera now. So if it was like dust or insects I would imagine that they would materialize into whatever they are whether it be a bug or dust but they don't seem to do that they seem to remain circular light from small to big and from big to small in random directions so go ahead and visit Lewis Tosh he's got some other videos on there as well and uh, let me know in the comments what you think about the anomalies of the orbs
Number one, meet YouTube channel Phil Nickerson filmed seven years ago in 2013. Now, this is a very interesting one. He is a musician, a uh, guitar player in particularly, and you're gonna see in the corner of this room where he has his guitars set up and then the two couches, um, he is filming quite a lot of activity here. Now, as the previous video suggested, I'll leave it up to you. You make up your mind and tell me what you think this is. Is this dust or bugs? Interesting thing about Phil here is that he's still very active on his channel. I highly recommend you go check him out. Uh, he's got some very awesome music, him performing his acoustic guitar, which you see in the corner here. Now, I've done my best to enhance the footage by just lining up the contrast, bringing up the exposure and slowing things down quite a bit. What I like most about this footage is the fact that the orbs and lights that you see here are sometimes moving in a variety of patterns, sometimes all in groups, which is very interesting. And now, have you guys ever seen the dust do that? Or, as a matter of fact, bugs all in unison? Now, again, I'd like to mention that if it was a bug, wouldn't it be clear as it got closer to the camera or further away? I want to leave this up to you. You tell me in the comments what you guys think, and uh, all the results are welcome. All your commentaries welcome, whether you're a skeptic or a believer. Either way, I would love to hear your commentary. Uh, there's also a very strange light anomaly that I like to point out. At a point here, you're going to see something that is not an orb, and in particular, it looks like wisps of light, uh, which is very interesting, almost like translucent as something that's trying to form in a semblance of maybe an arm or a leg. I found that very interesting and uh, let's check that out right now. Let's take a look and I try to slow it down and I brighten up the contrast, try to make it more visible to you. Okay guys, thank you so much for joining me for episode number seven. As you know, I find the paranormal to be very intriguing and I always love your feedback and uh, also if you guys want to send me some links to maybe some of your experiences or if you got stories to talk about regarding paranormal uh, get a hold of me let me know and I'll love to hear your story if you got some video evidence or some photo evidence uh, send them my way I'll love to check that out and don't forget check out my other episodes because there's six more in the series and I would love to get your feedback on those all right guys I'll see you on the next one bye bye hope you can join me again and if you enjoy the content please consider subscribing don't forget to hit that notification bell so you will know the next time I upload another creepy and unexplained video goodbye for now